On the 3D Coat forums recently, a user was asking for the functionality to create quickly very straight edge loops, both vertically and horizontally on their UV islands, especially when working on irregular shaped objects like this cord here with these sharp curves and whatnot. And obviously, if you're working in a standard 3D application using cylindrical UV mapping would not help you much on this. Neither would box projection mapping or spherical projection mapping or planar projection mapping. So it could be pretty tricky. In 3D Coat, prior to Global Uniform Unwrapping, which was introduced, I believe it was in 4.1, you had ABF++, which works pretty well in most cases, but you'll still run into a number of circumstances where it comes up a bit short. Uh, for example, if I click on this island and I choose ABF++, you can see that it's quite distorted. Before Andrew developed the globally uniform unwrapping algorithm, I would previously have to use the brush mode to go in and tweak the proportions a bit or straighten the lines vertically and horizontally. I'm first going to show how to straighten the edge loops and then make them equidistant, but that doesn't necessarily give you the best result inside of 3D Coat at least not since the global uniform unwrapping algorithm was implemented. So let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to switch out of islands mode, which is the default. And I'm going to switch to edges mode. I'll zoom in. I can just click on an island that runs vertically. I'm going to go to the bottom of my tool panel here and I'm going to choose edge loop then edge ring and now I'll click vertical and so that's going to straighten all of these lines vertically I'll zoom in and I don't have to deselect I can just simply click on one of these edges that runs horizontally and you'll notice when I click on that it's going to deselect all the others so we'll do the same thing edge loop edge ring but this time we'll choose horizontal i'm going to right click in an open area here in the uv space and click and drag so right click and drag to zoom in and out middle mouse click and drag to pan and i'll even scale my UV preview window and what we're seeing here is red gray and blue so the red and blue indicate a certain degree of stretching and pinching whereas the gray indicates there is no pinching or stretching All right, so whenever you see brighter values of the red or blue then that means you've got more stretching or pinching occurring so let's inspect our model here with a checker pattern on it and we can increase the opacity to get a better look at it we can also adjust uh, here in our navigation bar here we can turn up the overall lighting ambient lighting or the intensity of the spotlight and you can see some stretching going on here you can see that these are almost twice as wide as some of these others and while these are selected I can also choose uh, equidistant now rather than having to reach all the way across your user interface you can always hit the space bar to bring the tool panel to you and access it from here so let's choose equidistant oops I'm going to undo and again I'll edge loop edge ring and then equidistant and you'll notice I have even brighter values this time. So even though 
it looks nice and pretty inside the UV space here doesn't mean it's nice and pretty on the model. So keep that in mind. All right. The best way to go is the default way to go, and that is um, global uniform unwrapping. So what I'm going to do this uh, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to clear seams. I'll scale this back down for the moment. And I'm going to turn my opacity down so I can see the model a little bit easier. I'm going to choose mark seams. Mark seams will let me hover over an edge and it's going to give me a seam when I click on that, that looks identical to the highlight. Let me undo. If I hold down the shift key, it will select contiguous edge loops. All right. So what I'll do is I'll hold down the shift key here and click that. Edge loops is basically the same thing. It's like holding down the shift key and that's all it's going to select is loops. And you'll notice that this loop stops at the edge of another UV island or uh, another seam. And so that's very handy in many circumstances. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll notice because I didn't have one here, it went all the way through. So let me undo. I'll click clear seams just to do this all in real time. So one, two, three. That's all I need. And all I need to do now is just hit unwrap and shazam. And that's it. Again, it may not be as clean in terms of being perfectly straight horizontal or uh, vertically, but nonetheless, 3D Coat takes into account the curvature and the shape of the model in 3D space as well as your 2D UV space. And if I turn my opacity back up, you'll see this gives me the best result on the model itself. So even if I had the tool that the user was requesting, the standard global uniform unfolding gives me the best results. Okay. So I uh, hope you found it helpful. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next video.